Hello everyone, this is Royal Minecraft here again, and I'm here today with another live Minecraft Hunger Games commentary. So there's just a few things I wanted to say before I started the game. Um, the first one was just, I received so much support from the last video, and I just wanted to thank all of you so much for that. From that one tiny video, I got over 100 views and 20 subscribers, and at the point where I am right now, that's a huge amount, so I just wanted to thank all of you guys for your support. I'm really glad you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to try to make a lot more ones that you will enjoy. So, something else you might notice is that I have Pro right now, and that is entirely due to WikiKiki. So, um, I actually don't normally have enough money to buy Pro myself, but WikiKiki was really generous. I actually did a favor for him, um, and he just he gave me pro in response um so if he happens to watch this video um thank you so much wiki kiki so that means that this game i can bring you guys a video with the snail kit which i normally do not own and i actually haven't had a chance to look around this map but i'll explain the snail kit as i start running around so this is live so i might have to focus at some point but basically the snail kit you get there's a 33% chance that when you hit someone, they'll get slowness to for a five second period. So that's amazing when you're chasing someone, or if you even want to run away, you can turn around, hit someone a few times, and then you're basically good to go. You have like a five second head start on them pretty much because slowness is a humongous slow. Um, and that's pretty much all the kit does. So let's see how I do with it. It's my first game, so don't know how this is going to turn out. I'll be a bit more defensive than I was last game. I know last game I kind of went Rambo on a team of two people. And also this can split up teams because it's kind of hard to reach your teammate if you are if if you're if you have a slowness 2 effect on you. So, I also had I noticed that I had black bars on the edge of my screen. Um, on the last video, which I'm really sorry about. I know that those are a huge nuisance, and so I changed the size of my Minecraft screen, so now it should be perfect, and hopefully it should have no black bars, but if in the odd scenario it does, just know that um, I will fix that soon, and I'm currently working on trying to fix it. So I'll just get my two swords at the start, because I don't have soup, so... Might as well get two. Oops. Oops. Wow, that was a fail. One, two. And then get my soups out there. Oh, I need that. Okay, so... Let me just get a bit farther away from spawn. I do respawn, which is a huge safety, but I'm going to play as if I don't have that ability. And I will die if I get killed one time. Of course, I'm not going to quit or anything if I die, but... Okay, so I'm just getting my cocoa beans. There's a guy over there. I'll just get my first soup right now. I'm very slow at crafting them, I know. And then some more cocoa beans over there. I'm going to go not for a full inventory, but for considerably more than a full stack so that I have a chance to... Oh, I wonder where all my bowls went. I think I dropped them. So I'll go back over there, just in case I did. And I also was thinking of bringing you guys... Oh, yeah, here they are. A few videos from, like, MC PvP Elite, maybe some tutorials or something like that, because I do play on mcpvp.com. So, and mostly elite.mcpvp. So if you guys want any videos from that or any other kind of MCPVP um, related videos besides Hunger Games, just ask and I will I will bring those videos to you. So did you see those particles above the sheep? That's what happens when I poison them. So let's see. So one attack, no poison. Second attack, no poison. So yeah, it is one, roughly one third of the time. So hopefully I'll get lucky and I won't just have a period where... I don't poison them for a while. So, Leerap, let's go for him. I'm not going to update. Oh, freedom, sure. Outside of the jungle is always better. Keep going for him. I guess, I think for a second I thought, oh, 
either I'm too close to him or I don't really I'm kind of scared with animals around because creep oh my god oh I called it called it close fight there you go okay so I great it's great to kill people when they have leather because it's not the best armor but this guy actually had eight so I can actually make a leather chest plate which will give me I believe that's the same as iron pants although I might be crazy oh he had absolutely no wood at all great so I need to go make a crafting table which oh he had 10 awesome I think that chest plate will still be the biggest the best thing I can build with 10 leather let me just get another thing there okay so creeper hunter I'll keep an eye out for him and I'll go for him and Anders right after I oh god oh no insane lag this is not my lag this is entirely him I'm gonna back up I don't really know what's going on there he's kind of completely frozen oh what the f okay no soup so it's fun at this point in the game when you have soups because there's really nothing anyone can do to fight against you um, unless they have armor which is rare if, if I'm saying if they do not have soup okay so now I can take that get a chest plate and there we go now I have a small advantage against other players it's yeah one and a half so it's in some same as um well I don't it's not the same as oh okay guys fight wish me luck oh this guy has a stone see so he has part so he had slowness there and I probably didn't even need to use that soup I just used that as safety as a safety Blech. devil hunger games devil hg I always wonder why people buy Minecraft accounts just to get a name like PvP Pro because oh okay there's two people one second I need to concentrate it doesn't look like they're okay that was a one hit and then this guy let me fight him from the feet so that's always a good tip if you see someone's in a hole try to attack them from their feet They'll, you'll have a huge advantage over them so like right here this guy he backed up so I can't even reach him one sec okay oh yes okay so he had food I guess that's what he was cooking I thought it was armor for a second there but nope okay foods always good although I did have a lot and now I just have a full hot bar of soup left I probably didn't even need to use soup there let me get that leather helmet maybe I'll have full leather soon <laughs> leather cap and here we are so mid it's always so hard to pronounce these names. I never know how to say them. Okay, so keep going. And I also am in need of a kind of... So if you guys didn't know, I'm a graphic designer. Sorry if I've already mentioned that before. So I know how to do a lot of st stuff in Photoshop with still images, but I'm a complete noob when it comes to actually making videos like animations so I do need a uh, introduction to my videos which would be amazing so if one of you is good at that I am very bad at it so if one of you knows how to do um, video editing and video animation if you guy if one of you could make me a uh, a introduction I would be so grateful and I would be sure that I would at least give you a shout out but I probably could pay you a bit too um, it's just that uh, I don't have one for my video right now and I think they would make it would make them much better so if by the off chance one of you knows how to do it just m message me on YouTube or something and tell me okay so now that I'm all geared up and ready, I can go for Midramaka. 
And I do get distracted by the game, so sorry if I ramble on over a simple topic. I'm just focused on not dying, because... Oh, okay. Alright. Like in this situation. I don't really want to team with him. I think that that would probably slow me down a lot, because I would have to continually wait for him, and it would probably make the video boring, so... I'm probably going to kill him. I don't think he thought I meant team. Oh, there's a guy in the ditch. Oh, God. Okay. Hit him in. Oh, what?